so from the computer uh, first connect to the uh, router uh, this is tp link so i can connect by this way so it is open so we don't do not need any password so for the first time it will ask for the uh, it will ask for a new password so I will keep uh, any password so I will keep this as a system the password must be at least 6 or 32 6 to 32 characters so I will keep system and system system and system for password so after that uh, choose the connection type so the first one is the PPP OE connection and the second is the IP connection and the third is same as the IP connection that uh, something like DSCP connection uh, like for example for a bridge network you can choose this type of network or uh, for a fixed IP network you can choose this or uh, if your ISP provided you a username and password then you can choose uh, this first section so I will choose this one because uh, my ISP has provided me a username and password So after entering the username and password that that has been provided by your ISP click next and the third step is the setup of new Wi-Fi name and the new password so I will keep uh, let's say uh, let's say major v and password is apple at the right one to say so this is back button this is next button so i will click next so in this time the network will disconnect because we have changed the router name uh, wi-fi name and the password so we can see that wireless network has been disconnected but this is still showing this will be moved from this list after a certain time so this is our new wi-fi name that we just set up so let's connect this and i have kept apple at the red one to three as a password click next yes So once it is connected, now go to the again the router IP. So this asks use the enter the password. So now from this time you can now uh, change the language temporarily. So we can see that the internet is working now. The WAN is connected. The router is connected to the network so first let's download uh, so we can see that the right click is disabled in this page so we cannot right click this page so in this page we can right click so that we can translate to english or yeah or translate to any other language let's say chinese You can see that it is translated in Chinese. The bottom, I don't know why these buttons are not translating. So no matter, this is only the demo. So going through this, I will choose back to the English. It is in the top. Sorry, translate. So it is back again in the English language. So first we download the Chrome. So you need a Google Chrome browser to do this. 
So in the Google Chrome browser, uh, choose download um, Download right Click Enable Chrome Extension So Let's go and select the enable right click for Google Chrome Or you may uh, try hello right click same thing so let's go and install this I think this is already installed in, in, in my case right click no. So I will click on this oh sorry I'm so sorry so I am using the internet explorer browser so that I cannot add this so let's close this let's close and let's close this as well so I will use this chrome browser now this is the chrome browser Let's go well. Um, download right click enable Chrome extension. So I will go to enable right click add to Chrome add extension. And you can see the this has been added. You can also enable pin this from there so this has been enabled so we can right click now in any page so let's sorry so let's try on this page so we can now right click click on translate to english mm, now we can read the things we need so just go and type a password so I have kept my password as a system just update the password and what is saying is that your router has not logged in to tippling ID not login yet yeah, your must be uh, so you can create a free tippling ID to update your router to get the online services like software updates or remote management of home network or etc or if you already have a id you can use uh, ex existing id i will use existing so i am logging now now by this way the everything is in english so this is temp temporary every time you close this and open this need to be change the language every time from the translate to english so through this way you can set up anything you need for example from the applications you can create a guest network or use the wireless router bridge or access control or anything anything you would like to do from this from there you can play through the settings that you need such as mac filtering or whatever you need for your network so that's it that's it thanks So thank you, thank you so much. Uh, please don't forget to like, uh, like the video if you like. So please don't forget to like the video. That's it. Thank you.